What's up guys? King Bimo TV here. Gonna do an arena direct for foundations. You need to get six wins before two losses. It's tough, it's tough. A lot of times they give you three. This is just two. So you lose one game for Mana Screwed or of Mana Flooded, that's one there. So just you basically can't lose a game. Uh, it's rough, but the payoff's pretty good, right? 5,000 gems is essentially $25 if you win you get 200 to $250 worth of product probably. So that's cool. Uh, five wins, you break even. Four wins, you take an L. Anything else, not great. So let's open this. Let's hope we uh, win some boxes. And of course, like and subscribe, do the stuff, appreciate it. All right, <clears throat> what are we opening? These are bad. These are so bad. <laughs> Two Brasses Bounty, bro? Okay. Um, wh what does Genesis Wave do? You may put any number of permanent cards, mana value extra less from among them of the battlefield, then put all cards revealed this way that weren't put into play into your graveyard. Um, that doesn't seem great. Uh, all right, so just looking at the rares, we have Astrid Animist, Loot, Seer Slicer Goblin, uh, all of those are good. Mossbond Hydra is probably good. Actually, I don't know what it does. Three mana, three mana, one one. Whenever you put a, whenever a land you control enters, double the amount of one one counters on this creature. Okay, that card seems fine. So we got four good red green rares. Everything else isn't great. Time stop is f fine. Uh, Abyssal Harvester is fine as well. So let's see what we have in here that you know are not rares. If maybe we'll end up with like five burst lightnings. So we'll see. Um, Draft Smith, Smith recommends we play Gruul or Rakdos, but let's see. So I'm going to start by, I haven't played any sealed yet this format, but this is what I do every time. Start by separating my cards I want to play versus cards I don't want to. But somehow all my white cards are good. I mean, they're all pretty good. All right. I mean, all the white cards are fine. Um... That's cool. Blue cards, Mystic's good. Maybe I'll be a little picky here. I mean, honestly, all these are pretty good. All right, let's skip white because they're all pretty good. Blue, Mystic is good. Lookout's good. Ink Mage is okay. Sky Mage is good. Uncharted Voyage is fine. Self-Reflection is whatever. Blue doesn't seem particularly deep. Uh, black, Eaten Alive is good. Stab's good. Burglar Rat's good. Harvester's good. Uh, black doesn't seem very good. We have three Infestation Sages. Black doesn't seem great. All right, let's try out red. Immolator's good. Goblin's good. Slumbering Cerberus is fine. Annihilation is good. Raider's good. Three Gorehorn Raiders, so that could have been three Burst Lightnings. Um, yeah, this pool's bad. Uh, okay, green, Land War Elf, Snakeskin Veil, Double Bite Down. These are not going in the piles I want. Dwin and Delete is fine. Horn Beetle's good. Loot is good. All right, I think we're definitely green. I think I think loot is really really good. If you have loot, apothecary stomper is pretty good. We could play hydra. I think we're definitely green. <clears throat> Hope that wasn't too loud. Uh, we have ruby as well. Ruby ashrud animist. Uh, none of the artifacts are too amazing. I think red green seems reasonable. Are there any cards we'd want to splash for? It doesn't really look like it. White, white does seem pretty fine, to be honest. But All right. Definitely, I think we're definitely green. So let's start with that. See how many green cards we have. Maybe we'll need to play three colors just for a play, from a playable standpoint.
I think these 10 definitely going to play, could play a Dwinnin's Elite, but we only have two elves, so probably not great. Grow from the Ashes is fine, can help us splash. Um, this can help us splash blue if we play red green. This can help us splash black if we play red green. If we play red green, let's see. Oh, this can help us play blue too. Should be pretty easy to splash blue, not that we may want to. Um, we could play pick. This could be worth playing, especially if we're splashing a color. Um, I mean, I think I think we just beat red green here. I don't know if I want to play three Gorhorn Raiders, but that's twenty. Twenty is not twenty-four. Fifteen creatures removal is annihilation bite down. Three removal spells. Immolator kind of helps for removal. I mean, this doesn't seem too bad. I don't think there's any blue cards we want to splash. Like the best two blue cards. I mean, the best blue card is Mystic, but drawing second cards is not something we're going to do. The white seems pretty good. But I don't think we just ruin our mana to play white. I think I might rather play like suboptimal artifacts and red green cards than splash another color, especially if we're just like an aggro deck here. Like Dwinnin's Elite doesn't really excite me. I could play Sure Strike. Firebrand Archer doesn't really excite me. Thrill's okay. I think I could play an involuntary employment, right? It's a good way to win. We can play Incinerating Blast. We have one more playable. That's 23, 15 creatures. This looks okay. I don't think... I mean, the banner could be okay. Giving all our creatures of one color, plus one, plus oh, could be good. Banner kinship's not going to be good. I don't think we want the uh, Grow from the Ashes. Wouldn't mind a thrill possibility. Perfectly even here is cool. Let's make sure we have plenty of uh, early drops. Landmore, Ruby, Horn Beetle, Cerberus, Seer Slicer. I mean, we have a pretty good early start. I don't think this deck is bad. I think our rares were not great, but I think this doesn't seem bad to me. Um, what's our last card we're going to play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green creatures, nine green creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight red creatures. So pretty even here. If we had like 12 green creatures and two red creatures or something, maybe I'd play the uh, banner. But I don't think the banner's good enough for us. Could play a third Gorehorn Raider, but that's a lot. I'm going to have one in my hand like every game, and it's a five drop. I can't do that. Uh, so it's Elite with two Elves in our deck. We're Firebrand Archer with eight non-creature spells. Or Thrill Possibility. I guess I'll take the Archer. I'll go <clears throat> all in on creatures here. We'll do eight and eight for our lands. I think this is good. Our white is definitely solid. But I think our red-green aggro is just better. And splashing white makes our red-green aggro, like, way slower. So uh, I feel good about this build. I don't feel great about this deck. Again, two losses and you're out is pretty strict, right? So... We'll see. We'll give it a shot. It's all we could do. So...
Let's play some games. Okie dokie. We're playing Avery Year. Avu Avu Year. All right, we are on the play. Um, these are pretty competitive events, so I try to go on full control. Probably make a mistake because I don't usually do that. If I just play land pass right away, they they may think they'll they'll know we don't have burst lightning. All right, well, pass. Look at this. Boom, pass. Back and hold full control. <laughs> so I don't have to go through all the phases on my turn. Blue, green, sure. All right, so nothing on turn two for them, but nothing on turn two for us either, right? So I could play Reclamation Sage here. I feel like I get punished every time I play this card before there's an artifact or enchantment in play. They're blue-green, so there's two blue removal spells. There's good green enchantments, so I think we'll just play the uh, forest here, and then we'll pass. So we're waiting for them now, right? So I think they probably have like a think twice here, right? So I'm able to read that because I'm in full control and they're not, or more like they're not in full control. Ink Mage, okay. Enter Surveil 3 if you have Thresholds Unblockable. So we're going to play Ashroot Animus next turn. Which isn't a great first creature to play, right? We're supposed to be a green-red aggro deck, not play your first card on turn 4. We'll just pass here quicker. Yeah, I mean, we play the Animus here... It's not very good by itself. It's not very good on turn four, but... I'm tapped out, so I don't need to go in full control. Hydra. Okay, so this is going to be good. We're going to be able to attack with this, and then we'll play Gorhorn Raider and kill their Hydra. Unless they have, like, a giant growth in their hand, in which case they'll probably just win this game. Okay. They might just double block. It's a possibility, but I have five mana open, so. All right, so we just hope they don't have a uh, giant growth here. Okay, resolved right away, so they don't have giant growth. So that's good, because that would have became a 4-4 four -four this turn if they played a land. they don't have a removal spell for Ashford Animus, we'll probably just win this game. Because when this attacks, the Gorhorn Raider will get plus four, plus four. We'll be attacking them for 12. Four of which is trample damage. If they tap out and play a big trample creature, we may just win this turn. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a good enchantment to kill. So it's a 3-3 three, three now, so we can't um, Gorhorn Raider it. Um, if we attack, we could we could put them to one minus lethal right now. In Volatile Employment, we steal their creature. They take three, plus four is seven, plus four is 11, plus four is 15. All right, Mountain. Uh, we'll just attack here first. They're just taking 12. Um, we could play Gore Horn Raider here and put them to two. We can play Reclamation Sage and kill the Sylvan Scavenging. I think because we have involuntary employment in our hand, we probably win no matter what we do. So we'll just play this. We'll hit them for two.
Okay. So I don't think our opponent's deck was very good. I mean, they had two good rares, but... Us playing Astrid Animus on turn four, and then them having no removal the entire game. It's probably not very good. Okay. They're still dead. Uh, I'm not sure what they could have here. Uh, maybe they have run away together. Or, or otherwise, they're just dead. All right, let's play. All right, it shouldn't really matter. Okay. Whoa, bite down. All right, so we start off 1 0. That's good. I don't think we'll play too many decks as bad as the previous one, but we can hope. Playing Sandy, we are on the play. We have a pretty risky hand here. But I think we keep it. Very big cards in our hand. That's a really tough one. We have two turns to draw land at like 42 and 43%. So we may not draw a land for turn three. This is really risky. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it, but I'm very worried about it. Uh. All right, need the top deck of land here. If we draw just lands the rest of the game, we'll probably win. That's not a land. My whole hand lit up. Christmas tree. Fleeting distraction. I mean, looks like they're trying to get their second land, too, if I had to guess. All right. Really need a land. I mean, I'm glad we drew a spell we can cast, but... Oh, nothing for them either. That's good. That's good. That's good for us. Nice. Okay, cool. Really good. Really, really good. Horn Beetle and Hydra work together too. All right, so if we draw a land next turn and they don't draw a land this turn, we win, I think. So Mossborn Hydra, we play a land, double the amount of counters on this creature. Wizard. Ugh. All right. If we draw a land here, we play Raider. No, we play Astrid Animus, which will trigger Horn Beetle, which will trigger Moss One Hydra. <clears throat> Just two two lands in a row. That's it. We got this. What if they play Day of Judgment here? Wizard. Okay, sure. Damn it, man. We could just attack here and then play Seer Slicer Goblin. Just hope they think we have a trick, but I don't think that's good enough. I think they might be in full control. I think after turn one, they may have done that. 
but I'm going to try to pay attention to it. They left open one white again. Three, four flyer. Okay, so they drew their third, fourth, and fifth land before we drew our fourth. Oh, thank God. Hydra's a 2 2. Ashroot Animist will trigger Horn Beetle. Next turn, we're going to swing out big. Okay, Animist is gone. Take three. We pass with three mana open. Another land is good, so Hydra's a 4-4, four, four, which will trigger the Beetle. So we could definitely attack this turn. Can play one of these big guys too. They could double block. They could actually double block either of our two creatures, right? I'm gonna swing out with everything. They'll take eight this way. We could go two to the face here or kill one of the wizards. I think killing one of the wizards seems better. All right, so if they had the one mana trick to give a creature a plus one plus one counter, oh no, they could have actually still used it there. So they, there wouldn't be any benefit in them using that there. All right, so our Hydra is going back. I think that's okay. Horn Beetle still gets triggered off the four, four. They're not attacking with the three, four, so they're in defense mode. <clears throat> Bite down is great. Okay. Uh, let's attack. I'm still wary if they have the one mana white combat trick. If they take the five, they're dead because of our Gorehorn Raider. They don't have a counter spell. Um, this is fine for us. I wonder if they have something. I think they have something. I'm going to let them do something because I'm okay with this. There it is. All right, so we will kill that. Did have the combat trick. So they have no creatures. Day of Judgment, Dazzling Angel, okay. Big Fin Bouncer, okay. Hopefully draw a land. Land Apothecary Stomper. Wow. I'm so surprised they did that. Wow, okay. I mean, we attack with the Gorehorn Raider, play another Gorehorn Raider, kill both their creatures. The new way to do this, I'm like, oh my god, did I just punt him <laughs> like. Alright, no cards in their hand. I don't know if we play a land here, actually. I don't think we do. I'll do it. The, Hy the Hydra's pretty much over, I think. Um alright. 
Play a main phase apothecary stomper, pump up our Gorhorn Raider. Resolved right away, that's a good sign. All right, as long as they don't have day of judgment, we win. Nice, cool. Fun game, both got mana screwed, both, both came back from it. Okay, so first deck we played is bad, second deck got mana screwed with us. Let's see how this one goes, playing Alpha Frog. <sighs> this is a mulligan. Keep this one, this one's good. I guess we get rid of the, uh, the Raider, right? Just draw the other two. Um, yeah, we'll go Mountain, full control. Tap land. Uh, yeah, play our Seer Slicer Goblin. Hope they don't have a, a stab. Scavenging news, okay. <clears throat> we'll attack here. I'll play Sure Strike if they um, if they block. Is it even worth it? I don't know. I net a one one that way. I guess killing Scavenging news in itself is kind of a win. All right, we'll attack. Okay. All right, so next turn we can go, uh, all right, we'll discard the forest. If we draw land, we go Hydra land. No Hydra land, okay. Attack with one, one token. All right, so we'll get another one, one here. I'm kind of surprised they didn't block that, but uh, I'll take it. I'll leave the Ambush Wolf mana open. Double black. Pilfer. Oh, okay, so that's Thoughtseize, right? Sure, I'll play the Ambush Wolf in response. Not sure what you take here. I'd probably take Bite Down, to be honest. I don't know what's in their hand, but... The Bite Down's two mana do four to something right now, so... I mean, the Hydra's a huge threat if they got three lands on top of our deck, right? What is going on? This is a long time. That was a long time. Hopefully they don't play a 2-2 here or a 2-1. Sure, okay. All right. That's why they didn't block with the rat last turn because they had bite down. Hydra. Mountain. So if there's a land on top, Hydra becomes a 4-4. Four, four. I hope there's not a land on top, but hope I don't draw a Gorhorn Raider either. Oh my god. Oh, what a top deck. What a sicko. I'm a sicko, guys. That's a good sign. It's also exiled. Sick rip, man. Awesome. That was a rip. You guys, that was a rip. Like, I don't think I could have drawn anything better. Bite down was just as good. Or, well, this is a big miss, so... <laughs> makes up for it.
Yeah, I think you have to block there. I'm red, burst lightning goes to face. It's a common, you know. This is the 2-0 bracket. You have to assume my deck's okay, you know. But we just pass here. Not, not a very good turn for us. We drew probably the worst possible card. Tatiova's good for them. All right, no five drops. Anything but a five drop. It's a couple other bad draws, but that's that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but once we play a land, oh man! All right. Do we lose now? I don't know. Vivian Reed, five mana, five loyalty. Pay one, look at the top four cards of your library. You reveal a creature card or land card from among them, put it in your hand. So draw a card. Minus three, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Minus eight, creatures you control get plus two, plus two, have vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Okay. So draw a card, draw a card, draw a card, win the game, right? That's pretty much it. This will be over quick. <laughs> I never run out of answers. Uh, we just draw land, and we're in pretty good shape. They get a jungle hollow, they gain some life. Not a five drop, not a five drop, not a five drop. All right, it's not a five drop. No lands, huh? Involuntary employment is good. Would have been better a few turns ago. I think we take the pick here, actually. Pick plus one, plus one. When it deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Vivian plus one. Life is tenacious, isn't it? So yeah, a land, a land is kind of just what we want, I guess. They can play Consuming Aberration, or not play, but get one. Hydra, all right. Their pool is so much better than ours. <laughs> they even have good mana base. Yeah, this guy's, we had to beat this guy early. We, we had a chance, but I, I think that chance is pretty much gone now. Horn Beetle will get three, three toughness. Sorry, become plus three plus three because the Raider. Probably just play the two two and play the pick. You know, if we had an overrun in our pool, we'd still be totally in this game. But again, pool not very good, so. Their Hydra is a 4-4. They played it last turn. <laughs> I'm pretty jealous. We've had the Hydra since their opening hand, I think. Yeah, I mean, I kind of think I should just scoop, but they're going to play Rav Rats. Yeah, like, if we had a land war, I mean, they just looted two cards, too. Sorry, if we had an overrun, I think we're still in this game, but... We got rid of our involuntary employment too, so. <sighs> Can't win that game. That guy's deck, way too good. Way too good. And, and not that it's too good, right? But too good for us. They had Vivian, Consuming Aberration, Mosswood, Mossborn Hydra, Spinner of Souls, Nighthawk. Very good deck. Very good deck. That guy is probably going to win a box. Two boxes. All right, so we got our first L. 
which is okay. I'd rather get it now than at five wins. Well, actually, that's not true. I'd rather get it early. Is it still early? I don't know. All right, 2-1. We got to win the next four. We'll see. Okay, B5 Alpha. B5 Alpha. All right, hand looks good on the draw this time. Are we were in the play the first three games? Maybe. Opponents on the mull. Go in the full control, bluff the, you know, burst lightning. I think we play the Firebrand Archer turn two. I'm not sure. Um, Cerberus is definitely good. I mean, I guess we go Cerberus. If they play three drop, we play Fire Annihilation, untap the Cerberus. Yeah, that's good, right? I thought these looked like brass knuckles. All right, they do nothing. So we'll go land. I suppose we attack. Yep, let's play our Firebrand Archer. I think they might be in full control too. Turn four, nothing, huh? I mean, they could have a Wrath here. I'm not sure, but we're gonna attack. They, pr I, I assume they have wrath, but I also like a two one is not enough. That's a bummer. That's not a good post wrath card, Mountain, you know? Yeah, I assume we're gonna see Day of Judgment or the Black Wrath here. Yeah. The, the two, a 2 1 was not good enough, you know? I don't wanna play Sage, no reason to. Soul Shackled Zombie. All right, not drawing great this game. I don't think we need to fire Annihilation the 4-2. It already did its thing. Sure, we'll take four. Yeah, we need to draw, like, something very good next turn. Okay. Can't win them all, guys. Uh, if they don't play anything relevant next turn, I'll just play Sage if I draw another land. At least it, it trades up. Okay, that's something. Okay, I think I'll make our land where elves a 3-3. Three, three. I 
They still have the 4-2 that can get through. Which isn't great, but I'll go to 6. They're at 12. We get attack back for 7, so I think that's okay. They go to cast a removal spell here. We have Snakeskin Veil, which is great, right? Because now we can block the 4-2 as well. Still wouldn't bet on us winning this game, but you know, if they play like Banishing Light here and we can play Reclamation Sage or a creature I can kill easily. You mean a creature with six toughness when my spell does five? <laughs> That's a bummer. All right. Um, even Bite Down wouldn't help us now. What do we need? How do we kill that? I mean, Sure Strike would be a good top deck, I guess. Times are tough, right? Involuntary Employment. That would be a good one. Uh, Incinerating Blast actually does six to that. So that is a card we can top deck. It's a card I don't think I've ever played before, so. Okay. We could still attack with both creatures. They just tutored for like the best card in their deck. So that's a problem. We can't just like let them hit us for six, right? Then we go to four. I think we just attack with both. I'm just scared about what they're whatever they're gonna play next. Because Day Judgment, Rune Scared Scarred Demon, you know they have more than just that in their deck. That works. They go to seven. I'm so worried about playing Reclamation Sage. But two plus five is seven, you know? All right, I think we'll, we'll play it. Is it an artifact or enchantment? Sucks. Maybe that's what they got. Guys, they attack with the 6-6 six, six here and they have nothing else. We could put them to one next turn. Oh my god. We could really put them to one next turn. Okay. That's if they have nothing, right? This is a close game. Second main phase. All right. So I don't, if we draw anything that can give our increase our power by one, and they don't have anything in their hand. Um. Then we win. But that's I think that's asking for quite a bit here. Uh, nope. We're dead. That sucks. We could put them to one. Didn't have a chance to kill that. They never gave us an opportunity to. God, if loot was... If loot was Goldvine pick, we win. Sure Strike, we win. Ruby, we win. Involuntary Employment, we win. Gorehorn Raider, we win. That's okay, guys. You know why? Because this pool wasn't good. So we didn't get very lucky, and our pool wasn't very good. So that's okay.
Uh, I'm not not too bummed about it because I'm optimistic about the future pools because I do think I'm pretty good at this format. Um, so we'll get a better pool that doesn't have like 10 blanks. And then um, we'll be good, right? What do we open again? Rares? Two Brasses Bounty, Genesis. I mean, literally, like, these four are unplayable, I think. Genesis Wave, maybe, if you have a really deep green pool, but I don't think it's very good. Banner of Kinship, completely unplayable. Abyssal Harvester's fine. Time Stop is fine. But Ashrood Animist was good. I think the Hydra... Loot is definitely good as well. I think the Hydra is fine. Um, I mean... You play it on turn three as a 1-1 one, one, or on turn four as a 2-2. Two, two. It's still very easy to kill before it really goes nuts unless you have like a Terramorphic Expanse right away. So uh, no Burst Lightnings in this pool. Not great removal for us. So I, I think we could really do better. I think this is a below average pool. So uh, two losses and you're out. Below average pool just it's not going to be good enough. So hope you guys like the video. Let me know uh, how you did in the comments and what you guys think uh, of this pool, whatever. So I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video when we do another one of these. See ya.